Make up with your family. It wasn't even that serious. It wasn't even that serious after coming out here. I wanted Ferg to plan this trip. I don't, a couple of years ago, we went to, um, I'm a historian guy, so a couple of years ago, we went to Dallas and um, got a chance to witness JFK. I wanted you guys to come here because when I was young, I was kind of forced to study Martin Luther King and, and I heard a lot of, so much about, from my grandmother because my grandmother actually participated in the marches and so on and so forth. And the one everlasting memory that she told me that I wanted to share with you guys is, you know, people celebrate his birthday and all that type stuff, but he wasn't even supposed to be in Memphis, Tennessee when he died that night. He was actually supposed to be in, in D.C. And a group of sanitation workers were being mistreated in Memphis, and they asked him to come down and, and fight and, and deliver a speech on behalf of them. And that's where he lost his life. So in essence, he lost his life dying for some sanitation workers. Right. So garbage man, sanitation workers, and that's just what type of gentleman he was. I don't want you all to ever forget that. I want you to respect your history because it's more than just a birthday. It's more than just a statue. It's a legacy that lives on. So hopefully you guys took some pictures, have a chance to share it with your loved ones, and share the same stories and appreciation. All right? Uh, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is my grandmother and the stories that she shared with me. You know, as a child, and I just reflect, I wish she was living to have an opportunity just to see this. You know, she used to tell me a thousand stories about, you know, the marches that she participated in, you know, just to fight for equality, just to fight for freedom, just to fight for uh, justice amongst all. And, you know, to see this parlayed into a statue and a memorial, it's just wonderful for me to get an opportunity to share with, you know, our, our student athletes. Just trying to do my part. Um, 
You know, I just don't, I just believe too many times when you hear the words Martin Luther King or that name in, in particular, you know, this country throughout the, the course of years have romanticized the name instead of just actually studying his legacy. You know, it was more than just a dream. It was just more than a speech. It was just more, more than protesting. You know, it was just general sacrifice and it's just not a, African-American holiday. It's a holiday for humanity and I just want people to appreciate it and I just try to share that with my young men. Yeah, you know, they, they, they're they in a fortunate situation. Um, you know, many people uh, have dreamt of the day that they could come to this memorial, especially, you know, on his birthday weekend and we're here, you know, so that's a blessing within itself. You know, and each time we go you know, significant places uh, in American history. I try to take the kids there so they can just get an opportunity to experience it for themselves and share with their families one day. Uh, it means a lot, you know what I mean? The slavery and the prejudice all through the United, uh, United States. I mean, just to come here and see his memorial here, his birthday is just, is just great. I mean, it's, it's always good, you know, just to do that. And uh, it's always it's good with Coach, you know, to do that. And, I mean, it shows that he really cares, and it's not really, you know what I mean? It's about basketball. It's about business. But, I mean, he knows, you know, it's about life, too. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm very thankful for him to do that. Hello, I'm Lavelle Moten from North Carolina Central University. We're here at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Let's go interview some folks, see how they do. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Uh, what's your name? Yeah, no, don't be shy. Don't, don't be shy. Hold on, hold on. Uh-uh, don't be shy. Don't run nowhere. What's your name? Tasha. Hey Tasha, how old are you? You look 21. No, I'm 25. 25. Well, I'm, I'm Lavelle Moten from North Carolina Central University. We just want to interview you and see what this means to you. Okay. Um, I'm shy. I'm don't be shy. Don't be shy. No, I can't do it. King won't shy. He sure was. You alright? I'm shy. You alright? Just, just give me a word or two. We laugh. Power. Oh, well, okay, there you go. Folks, you have it. Moving right along, moving right along. How you doing, sir? I'm Lavelle Moten from North Carolina Central University. Yes, sir. Can, can we get your thoughts on what Martin Luther King meant to you in this day? Oh, he's awesome. I mean, he's one of the people who got us here today. He's one of the main people who got us here today. That's I mean, right. uh, you know, racial problems seem to be, you know, they're always just below the surface, but he got us to a new stage, and he can never go back. And, and so, you know, someday... Who knows what it's going to take? Well, it'll be completely history, right? right? Absolutely. But he got us through a certain threshold. You right. know what I mean? Right. Um, and, and and past that threshold, there's no going back. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. We're so far from you know resolving it. Right. Absolutely. It's it's you know it's hard to say that we've we've come so far so far, but he got us past that threshold that there's no going back. Well, we definitely appreciate your time and efforts, all right? Take care of yourself. God bless you. Yeah. Well, well, Gabby, just explain to us a little bit what this memorial means to you and overall. Um, I've heard, I've always passed by it um, and heard so much about it and seen it from a distance, but it's just amazing how um, they captured him. I feel like they captured him so well, and it means a lot to me. Um, my family is very multicultural. Like, you just didn't read my dad, actually, so... It's just awesome how far our country has come and the fact that from having like just having a black president and just how so many races and people can just coexist. I think it's amazing. Now where's home for you? It's in Burke, Virginia. It's only like 20 minutes away. Okay, so you guys just drove up specifically to see the memorial? Yeah, yes. And it's remarkable. Well, we, we thank you so much for your time. And um, if you ever see me on ESPN, <laughs> send me a shout out, all right? Okay. Take care of yourself. Nice you. All right. <laughs> What's your, well, I'm, I'm the coach at North Carolina Central, and these are my players, but that's my part-time job. I'm really a 24-7 news anchor. Oh, okay. All right, what's your name? My name is Walida. Walida? Yes. That's good. Where are you from, Walida? Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. This your first time seeing the memorial? This is my first time seeing the memorial. Can you tell us your thoughts real fast about the memorial? It's um, very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. What is your favorite part of the memorial thus far? Um, we just actually got here, but the writings on the walls are very interesting to me. Well, it's people like you that help bring this dream alive, and we thank you so much, all right? Give me a hug, my girl. All right, you got that, you got that, you got that. Lavelle Moulton, North Carolina Central, man. How you doing? What's up, bro? Just want to ask you a quick couple of quick questions. How does it feel to be at the memorial, Martin Luther King Memorial Weekend? Feels great. Feel honored to be here. Because of him, this is the reason why I'm here. 
How you doing, buddy? All right. What what does it mean for you to be here at the MLK Memorial? You at you at Atlanta, Georgia, boy, Sawani, so Martin Luther King got some ties back in your hometown. What does it mean for you, Pooby? Well, this is my first time being here, so I mean, it's just glad to, I'm glad to see it, and it's a beautiful place, beautiful people everywhere. <laughs> Is that curve you got on? <laughs> <laughs> Sonia Jordan. Okay, where you from, Miss Sonia? Fair, okay, y'all give it up for Fayetteville in the house. That's right. Now, now, Miss Jordan, you drove all the way from Fayetteville to see this? Yes, I did. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Tell, can you tell us what it means to you? I'm originally from Atlanta. We got a couple of Atlanta guys. Can you tell us what this memorial means to you on this weekend? So, um very special day in history that uh, we have lived to see, which is which is uh, a phenomenal um, thing that uh, we have came this far. We still we're, we still have some things to do, but it's it's uh, great that it's a national day that they made it a, a national uh, holiday. Uh, and that's wonderful. Before you go, can you tell us like your one everlasting memory of Martin Luther King? I was about eight years old when um, he was assassinated. But uh, we said from the Stone, uh, from the uh, Lookout Mountain, Tennessee, to Stone Mountain, Georgia, because I was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So that's my most memorable moment. Well, we thank you for sharing your time and your your words of wisdom with us, and we appreciate it. All right. Thank you. No problem. Uh oh, oh, this is my man. Boy, you better get this right here, my man. What, what's up, my man? What's up, what's up? One time for you. Yes, sir. What's your name, man? My name Butch, man. Butch, Butch. Where you from, Butch? I'm from here in D.C. You from D.C.? Is this your first time at the memorial? No, I came here when they unveiled it a couple months ago. Okay, when they unveiled it. Tell us what that was like, uh, the, the national unveiling of it. I'm sure that was a special. Yeah, I was surprised to see that many people took time out to uh, uh, make that important enough to come see, you know? Right. Uh, my girlfriend and I, we came down and studied, you know? And uh, this is, makes it worthwhile that, you know, I think it was a long time coming, you know, and for all the struggles that he went through and all the things he accomplished, it, it just, it's good to know that people uh, respect him and can remember it enough to, to make it special to them to take time out and do that. We work today, so, yeah. Absolutely. Butch, can you tell us, like, your one everlasting memory of Martin Luther King? 1963, right over there by the Lincoln Memorial. We'll holler at you. We're going to go try to go get this win tonight versus Howard. Depend on what Superstar Sutton do. He stay out of foul trouble. Martin Luther King ain't want violence, so we don't want him out there filing. All right? Peace.